Hello, Chuck Severance here uh, again with another uh, Internet History Technology Office Hours. Uh, this time we're uh, uh, January 3rd or 4th, 2014 in uh, Santa Monica, California, and I'd like to introduce you to some of the students. Hi, my name is Anthony. I'm from Carson, California. I really enjoyed learning about the history of the internet because you know, I've been using it for years and years and years and I really had no idea how this all got together. I use a screen reader uh, called JAWS and you know, because it's pretty much all, it's all HTML, the screen reader reads everything fine. Every link is tagged correctly. Pictures, I haven't actually had to encounter any images or anything like that, but links are tagged correctly when I take the quizzes the different choices are tagged correctly uh, I haven't had any problems with it and I'm actually very happy for that how about the lectures what how do the lectures work for you um, just click on the I, I download the video so I just click on the download link open it up in my Windows Media Player and just listen away <laughs> and, um, so tell me a little bit about what how Coursera fits into your like education plan in this for fun do you have any goals what kind of education do you have and where does Coursera yeah. fit in? Oh, let's see, I have a, two bachelors from Long Beach State, a master's from Stanford. So for me, Coursera is just more to learn more about the world around me and to listen to professors from other great universities teach, you know. For the first time, really, you can feel as if you're sitting in a classroom at Michigan or at, you know, the university, you know, like Hong Kong University of Science Technology or whatever. and. I think it's really cool because these are the professors who are there and because of the internet, you know, it's compressing time and space and you can be there. So for me, I think I would be taking more. I've taken four courses, well, five courses, uh, and I plan to take more this year. This is only my, you know, I started in April of last year, so we'll okay. see how many more I take. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Anthony. Yeah, thank you. Well done. Yeah. Good <laughs> interview. Okay. So, so Mo, Mo, tell us a little bit about your background. Um, I studied computer science, graduated in 1983 from Cal State Northridge. Um, I've been working since then, um, developed CAD CAM software, computer-aided design software for about 26 years, and then we were offshore to India. And, and uh, from that, I started working at a medical record company, developing EMR packages for physical therapy practice physical therapist. So, so, so tell me how Coursera sort of fits into your education. How many classes have you taken? What are your plans? Where is it going for you? Gosh, I've taken a lot of online classes through Coursera. Um, I think this internet history class is one of the only that I've completed. I've, I've registered for many, but um, taken other online courses. The gamification course is fantastic. There's just so many opportunities to learn almost anything in the world. It's just fantastic. You can, you can take them at your own leisure. Whenever I'm sitting at home bored, I'll just browse through what's out there. Uh, and I love it. So do you think that it has any chance of replacing uh, education as we know it? Probably not. Why? I, I think there's a huge benefit to meeting in a, in a classroom environment where you can be face-to-face -face with fellow students and instructors. Um, there's a lot of courses that it makes sense to take on your own at home. Um, but there are a lot of courses that it would be very difficult to to achieve a high level of understanding that way. Is there anything that worries you about this kind of movement to free online education? No, it's definitely the way we should go. I I love free online education, and I hope Coursera keeps it free. Okay, I love it. Okay, let's switch to Melanie. So, hello, Melanie. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Melanie Abbott. I live here in Los Angeles. Uh, I am a meeting and event planner, and so a non-technical person, but have always been interested in technology, which is what drew me to the Dr. Chuck's course, which is excellent, and was my first Coursera course. So, so do, are you planning on taking other classes? Oh yeah, uh, like Mo, I've signed up for many, have only completed this one so far, but <laughs> I am a huge fan of free education. I think it's brought learning to the world, and it's not going away. How do you think it would fit into your education if you were in college right this minute? If I was in college right now, I think it's a great supplement to whatever you're already taking. I mean, it's just a way to deepen your knowledge on any topic. So. 
So, so do you think that it, it's a threat in any way to to any kind of uh, educational structures that we're building right now? Well, they never like. Uh, maybe monetarily to the institution of education as a business, which is I'm not really in favor of. That education has kind of become a business, and I think that this is a way to bring it back to what it really should be. Learning education is the key to solve all the world's problems. Is there anything about uh, the way it's being done that worries you at all? No, not worried, but I would like to see more of what you're doing. Is like making it real. I think that, you know, making it feel like it's not just through the internet, that this is real people in the world that you can interact with and learn from. Do you, have, do you, have you been listening to the media talking about MOOCs? There was a special on NPR a couple weeks ago and I did listen to it and I was surprised how uninteresting it was considering how fantastic Coursera and MOOCs are. I was really surprised that it didn't do a better job of uh, pushing it on to people. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony, do you have any uh, closing thoughts? I encourage people to check out Coursera. Um, and you know, I, I don't. There's this maybe talk that you know it's going to replace education and it can solve all the problems with you know remedial education in universities. I don't think it can, but it's an excellent supplement. And if I were in college, I could imagine that I'd be taking maybe one course along you know with my other courses. Would I complete it? I, you know, I don't know, but I would definitely be interested. It's just a lot of different topics that have been discussed. You know, computer science, the universe, uh, programming. So. I hope that they keep on doing these things and they keep it interesting and they do encourage professors to meet the people <laughs> that they that they are teaching. I think there's great value in uh, taking classes where the grades don't matter, mm -hmm. right? Because in college you would choose. I only chose to take classes where I knew I could get really good grades. <laughs> you know, right? So, okay. Well, uh, let me turn this thing back at me. So uh, there you have it, a uh, nice little report here from uh, Santa Monica uh, just after the Rose Bowl. Uh, so we'll see you on the net.